I think we could have picked any one of your seven dishes today, whether it was the simplicity of those beautifully sweet cooked bugs, Samira, or whether it was those plump ravioli of yours, Ben. But the final dish we ended up plumping for belongs to... Seven ingredients, seven loved ones, seven minutes to go! Come on, guys! Come on, Khan, you're so close! I'm really happy with the flavour of that. Uh, a little bit more salt. The coriander's coming right through. Maybe how's your sauce now? Sauce is good, baby. I've changed my dish from a continental dish to an Asian dish, which has flavours that are very close to my heart. Good. Now it's good. Yes, cooked perfectly. It looks beautiful. I got a nice golden brown on the skin. I'm very happy with my duck. You like it? Yeah. Only five minutes ago, and I've ruined my French butter cream. Just gonna make a simple coffee Chantilly cream, and hopefully that works out. It's not as good as the French butter cream, but it's better than nothing. Hopefully, it turns out okay. Chantilly cream is basically cream and sugar whipped up together, and you just get this nice, smooth texture. Just put a little bit colour or something, Jess. It's too plain. Yes, Mum. <laughs> She's stressing me out. My second batch of coffee granita is in the blast chiller. I just hope it freezes in time. I have a taste of the parfait and I'm really happy with it. Mm. If you want a chance at this fast track to finals week, then you need to. Pull out all the stops. Five minutes to go. Oh, guys, come, come on. on. Come on, babe, you're so close. Which one? That one? The bigger one. Which one? White, white. I don't know. <laughs> I want the judges to taste the really richness of that dark chocolate semifredo with a hint of coffee. And I want that creaminess of the coffee Chantilly cream to kind of cut through that bitterness. Oh, yum. Does it smell good? It smells so yum. I definitely think I've done enough to make my little sister proud. Um, the dish that I made today is based on a dish that Mum makes for us all the time, and if Amy tasted it, she would know exactly that. Now, I've got my ravioli cooking. The ravioli has good coriander and chilli in it, and the lemongrass broth is really punchy. 30 seconds! Everything looks good, you know, it looks like something that I want to eat and hopefully I get tasted. I'm being very gentle with the bugs. Um, I can feel that the meat is very delicate and the burnt butter. It smells beautiful. They know it's delicious. Final touches! Ten seconds. Nine, eight, eight seven, six, six five. five. Look at that duck. Do you want some? <laughs> yeah. I'm very happy with what I've made. My choice of changing it to an Asian dish, I think it paid off well. I'm happy with the flavours, but I feel like the dish is a little bit lacking. I'm just hoping the flavours come through. Isn't it lovely to have your friends and your family cheering you on from the gantry? And we hope that it inspired you, not distracted you. Remember what's at stake, that chance to go straight through to finals week. So a pretty important cook. Of course, we're only tasting the top three dishes, and we have chosen. First up. Sashi. I'm very happy with what I've made. Flavours has come in very well. I just hope that my choice of changing it from a continental dish to an Asian dish was the right decision. What's your dish? Um, I've made um, a duck noodle with broth. A little different. From what I started, yes. I start with a pasta, a bit more like a French kind of a dish. With a... <laughs> but uh, as I was cooking, I went back to my strength. Good. Uh, I'm good with Asian food and uh, Indian. 
Certainly when you look at it in the bowl, that description makes a lot more sense. The sauce? It's a reduction of uh, dark and a bit of uh, lemongrass and chilli and a little bit of butter to just bring them all together. Yeah, we, we don't mind that. It looks to be cooked really beautifully and the noodle's nice and fine. Did you put little pieces of... Um... Yes, the roasted duck pieces. That's a good idea. Keep some for me. It is absolutely spot on. I love it. The chilli, the lemongrass, the coriander and butter in a sauce. <laughs> it's... it's... Delicious. Um, and the noodles, a lovely texture. They've got a beautiful spring to it. And of course, the duck's cooked perfectly. Thank you. His skills have grown so much, haven't they? Amazing job, Sashi. Well done. Yeah, I love that liquid velvet you poured over the broth, which has got a real intensity. And it's a really delicious dish. And even more importantly, it's a really good example of how you always put your own stamp on dishes you do, and that's having your own voice, Sashi. That's why you're here, and your voice is very loud and very melodic in this one. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. You <laughs> so I just love my dish. I'm very happy. I'm sure I've made my wife very proud. The next dish we'd like to taste belongs to... Jess. I can't believe my name is called out today. I didn't think my dish would be good enough for a top three dish, but I'm so happy. Jess, what have you cooked? Um, it is a chocolate coffee semi freddo with a coffee cream and crystallised coffee. Awesome. Your mum brought the uh, chocolate. She did. <laughs> <laughs> mum, what do you think? I've never tasted that one before, but it looks nice. <laughs> nice presentation. And I like the simplicity. I like the idea of the little coffee praline. Mm. Coffee and chocolate, they're a brilliant combination, and what you've given us is that brilliant combination. But I love it because it's not sickly sweet. You balance that out. It's a lovely dessert, and it's OK to put three things on a plate, three things that are done really, really well, and that's why we love it. I love the simplicity, and it is an absolute crowd pleaser. You put that on any menu, and it's going to be one of the best sellers because it is what it is. It's coffee and chocolate. And I love the fact that you've made a coffee cream for a change rather than trying to smother it with granita and ice cream and trying to be too clever. Classic, understated, perfect. How far you have come, Jess, since those days when you put 200 things on the plate. Um, <laughs> I think we love, we love this, this newfound confidence and clarity that we're seeing from you. Well done. I feel really happy my mum got to see me get tasted today, which is a good thing. We love tastings like today, but I think you were all lifted by having your loved ones in the building because really, I think we could have picked any one of your seven dishes today, whether it was the simplicity of those beautifully sweet cooked bugs, Samira, or whether it was those plump ravioli of yours, Ben. But the final dish we ended up plumping for belongs to... belongs to Reese. Walking my dish up to the judges, it's such a great feeling, but I can already see the granita starting to give way and melt a bit, so don't think I should have put it on the plate. So, Reese, you decided not to cook the duck. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And what did, what did you make instead? Um, I made a coffee parfait. Um, I did a coffee twill. Um, I've got a crumb on there, some coffee granita and a chocolate um, sauce. And. You not only decided not to cook with that, you also decided not to cook with chilli. I had the chilli in there, but I thought I nearly killed you. <laughs> I cut it out and started from scratch. I really wanted to like push the boundaries a little bit, as I like to do normally, but I think I was trying to get too creative, so I just cut back a little bit, kept it nice and simple. Creativity um, has no place on a plate if it's not delicious. Yeah, exactly. So what's that little... Oh, the granita's really melting quickly. Yeah, yeah let's go on. You didn't manage to get a lot of the granita, did you? Um, no, because I made it in the last 15 minutes because the original one had chilli in it.
I love duck. So do I. <laughs> but I like coffee parfait better. <laughs> um, that's really delicious. And I like, best of all, I love the texture of that little parfait. It's really silky, it's really smooth, it's quite heavy. But in this case, it's delicious. And the cleverness of that little crisp shard of praline is really wonderful. I, I love it. And for me, I don't, I don't need the granita. In fact, the fact that the granita's melted into this lighter syrup is, is quite delicious. Beautiful. It's yum. It's great cooking. And that's why you're in the top seven. Race, well done. Thank you. But the real triumph is that absolutely, you could, you could make windows out of this <laughs> praline. It's so fine. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. Well done. Oh, <laughs>